Hey everyone, Hat here. I'm joined today by my very lovely and incredibly talented friend, Lindsay Olivares. Yay! Did I pronounce uh, that correctly? That was really good. Oh, okay. I'm Canadian. We don't do Spanish. If I was straight, I would marry Lindsay Olivares. Not a bad deal. <laughs> There's actually an interesting backstory to our mm. unobtainable love. A story ripe with speculation, jealousy, mm. gossip, murder. Murder. Who did you kill? <laughs> How many men have you killed? <laughs> so we figured we'd share this story with you. And as an added bonus, Lindsay is going to be drawing me while we chat. She's an incredibly talented character artist. Do the thing you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be drawing me. And at the end of this little segment, we will reveal the caricature and it's going to be amazing. So stay tuned and watch to the end because you don't want to miss this. Are you looking for the marker to <laughs> throw? Here we go. The story of how we met and almost fell in love. But then I was gay. Where did it all begin, Lindsay Alvarez? Well, I, I'm Where? gonna take over. We first met when we were young teenagers. It was a hot summer of 2004. Mm -hmm. Valencia, California. California. We were both accepted to a summer program for animation nerds. Do you remember how we met? You were listening to Gavin DeGraw. Yes. And you were like, is that Gavin DeGraw? I like Gavin DeGraw, let's be friends. The music's kind of like that. What? You know, like this love language thing. So you fell in love with me, like, at first No. here? No, no, I was like playing it cool. Oh, and it should be noted that I wasn't out at this time. So we Oh, were... no. Yes. No. I didn't know. Oh, okay. I just thought we were, we were like friends, and we had yeah. like most of the same classes there together, mm -hmm. and I liked you, you were cool, you were really funny. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. <laughs> He would make funny jokes. We'd have these screenings when we watch things, and he would he would shout out funny things. Bring back the <laughs> and then sadly, the summer ended, and we parted ways. We stayed, I think, in touch a little bit here and there. We yeah, chat. we were friends on Facebook. Yeah, we both had blogs of our art. Yeah, this is what I think happened. Yeah. A couple years went by, and on Facebook, I see Lindsay had posted something like, moving to San Francisco. Okay, okay. We never said it all up front. <laughs> so I was like, going to San Francisco. And you were like, me too. And then I was like, oh, well, actually, I'm not San Francisco, San Francisco. Redwood City. And you were like, me too. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm starting at DreamWorks. And I was like, I'm starting at DreamWorks. And I was like, I'm going to start July 9th, I remember. I'm starting July 9th. So we started on the exact same project, at the exact same studio, in the exact same city, on the exact same day. And we were literally living two blocks away from each yeah, other. Yeah. Our paths have always aligned. Yes. Rather nicely. Yeah. Which to me was like, fate, if I was straight. It was my straight fate. Straight fate. fate. <laughs> and I think from yeah. there, like, that, like recognizing you from like my past, we like became very good friends. Yeah. So we definitely bonded. You were a little bit of my comfort food. We'd go get pizza together. Mm -hmm. We'd vent about how we both thought we were terrible artists. Yeah. And we were never going to be anything good. I'm like, why they hire us? I don't know yeah. what I'm doing. I can't draw buildings. I can't draw people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were good times. <laughs> those were good times. We bonded a lot over pizza. I think it was about that time that speculation started to run mm -hmm. amok. At Sorry the studio. To arise. People were assuming things. To be fair, I would visit you almost every day in your queue. Yeah, like every day. And you still didn't know I was gay at this point, right? No, I, and I had no idea. Like, it never crossed my mind. And most clues were kind of pointing towards, eh, he might have a thing for you. But I didn't really want you to because I liked hanging out with you. And I liked your little <laughs> visits, and you'd come and you'd bring, like, hot chocolate. And. Did I? Not for me. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's what I should have known. You know what? Should have known. If you were a cute boy, I would have brought you hot chocolate. And you'd, you'd come in like this, and then you'd sit down, and you'd stay and you'd talk for a while. Mm -hmm. And I always kind of, you know, how many intentions could you have had? <laughs> it seemed like you were in love with me, but you were too shy. <laughs> you had a boyfriend at the time. I had a boyfriend at the time. What did he think about me? So he was a little uncomfortable about this guy from my past that I'd hang out with. He was dreamy. There was one guy in particular who was a mutual friend of both of ours. He was definitely very persistent in trying to push us together. The wingman thing. Yeah. Yeah, so he like approached me one day in private and he was all like, uh, or here, you do the voice. Hey, you and Hat will make really beautiful babies. And like, what do you say to that? <laughs> <laughs> he was being a good friend. He was like trying to help me. Well, I guess he was trying to help me get in your pants. That's not a good friend of me. <laughs> maybe if, if these third party perspectives think it's a thing, maybe it is. So maybe I should start avoiding you. You did, actually. I did avoid you, yeah. I can't do this, I've got a boyfriend, and I can't lead you one, so I'd avoid you. I don't know if I would have been as flaky 
If I knew you were a gay. In my head, you are a flaky person. No, I am kind of flaky, but I think I was extra flaky because of that. Uh, that makes sense. I had just come out to my, my parents and my family, and I felt like you were the next person I really wanted to tell. Okay, so you were asking me to lunch a yeah. lot. Yeah. And there is that sandwich place that opened. It was really good. Yeah. Because I was kind of caving on my like keeping it a distance thing because the, the sandwiches were really good. <laughs> and then so I, was... I guess we were friends with bread of fits. So yeah. for me, it was clearly your, I'm confessing my undying love to you moment. No, we were driving and you were like, I was going to tell you. And then I remember, like, I do this evasive thing where I was like, oh, you're, you're pregnant. Ha ha. Or I just. Like, oh, I think you did. I didn't know. I totally did that. <laughs> my head, I was like, oh, no, he likes me. What did you say? Oh, I like you as a friend. I remember specifically because for me this was my coming out moment to you. So I remember it in full detail. This is this is you because you were driving. So I was like, Lindsay, I have something to tell you. Yes, I'm gay. What? And then you swerved. Oh no! Yeah. So first I almost rear in the car in front of me. I was not expecting that. And yeah. I kind of like relieved. I was like, oh, that's not the conversation I thought it was gonna be. I was. Very surprised. Do you think our relationship changed after that? Oh, I think it totally did. And it was nice just hearing more about like what you had been feeling and like you starting to date. And it's been cool too, like hanging out this week because it's at another place too than it was then. Because that was for like, sure. I remember for sure at the time you were like, I'm gay, but you were like, I don't know, like, <laughs> like I don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, the penis goes where? So that is the story of how Lindsay and I met, how we almost fell in love. How we almost got married, and then how I ruined it all by telling her I was gay, and we almost got into a car accident. Miss Olivares, <laughs> is the caricature ready? Ready. The reveal in three, two, one. Look at how cute I am. Is that what you see when you look at me? Sometimes I see this. <laughs> Sometimes she sees this. Look at how talented Sometimes she is. Sometimes I see this. That's cute too. Thank you for joining me. On this episode of <laughs> Your artwork. Are you crazy? <laughs> No, I need this one. Yes, I got it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you, Lindsay, for being on my couch. Thank you for having me on your couch. You're actually sleeping on my couch right now, so. Get off my bed. You can follow Lindsay at somewhere. I'll put the link somewhere. Do a little This Is The Link song. This is the link. Clink, clink. <laughs> All right, see you next time, everybody. Thanks. Do you know what a kiki is? No. What do you think it is? A man's uh, genitals. <laughs> No, it just means a little party, a little get together. Okay, got it. <laughs> I want to record everything you say. <laughs>